There's a new cancer center coming to an area hospital near you, and today you're invited to its official opening. 7 and 4's Alyssa Heron joins us live from Charlevoix Area Hospital to show us around this new facility. Hey Alyssa, good morning. Good morning, Brendan and Melissa. I am inside of the Charlevoix Area Hospital inside of their new chemotherapy infusion center. Joining me is CEO Hi. Lynn Jenks. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you so much. You know, first of all, how did this process get started and what was the need for one of these centers here in Charlevoix? Well, about two years ago, we began to look at the services that are required in our community when we did a community health assessment, as all hospitals are required to do. One of the things that we discovered is that we had patients traveling great distances for chemotherapy and other infusion um, services. They might have to travel from Boyne City to Traverse City or from Central Lake to Petoskey. So we looked at what are the services that we could provide that would prevent that length of travel. Infusion and chemotherapy um, were at the top of that list. What we first did then was we began to look at um, what are the facilities that would be necessary and we brought focus groups of patients together to help us design this unit. So let's kind comfort. of take a walk and sure. show this while we talk sure. about um, some of the things that your patients kind of picked out. Yeah, well one of the things is this chair. Um, it has massage, it is heated, it can recline fully. Uh, we had several chairs brought in and we had our, our customers, our patients, sit in the chairs and they actually picked out the chair that they wanted. They talked about the colors that they would like, they talked about some of the comfort features that they felt were going to be important in a unit like this. We have, thanks to our donors who purchased all of these chairs and comfort care packages for each patient, they'll get their own fleecy blanket to take home, slippers, an eye mask, and other products like lotions to make sure that they're comfortable while they're here. In addition, we have the Circle of Strength, which is a cancer support group that would do things like knit hats that chemotherapy patients can take home with them when they leave. They also will provide special music. We have iPads, individual televisions for each of our patients to make the experience, which is not a good one, as comfortable as possible. The most unique feature of this unit, and we have uh, six chairs so that okay. we can um, serve six people at a time, is the tremendous views. It's hard to see it this right. morning because it's dark, but this um, unit is right on Lake Michigan. So we have binoculars at each chair so that they can watch for birds and fox and ships and all kinds of things going on. So it's pretty exciting. All right, and there's also a private room here as well. Yes. Okay, and you know, um, you had infusions before, correct? Yes, we did. We did them in patient rooms before, which um, were not quite as nice, and they weren't as um, specifically designed for the purpose. So we're very, very happy that we're able to bring it into this unit where the patients can have as much privacy as they want, or they can have as much friendly conversation as they want. And we discover that, you know, when you're coming here once a week for 12 weeks, sometimes hours at a time, these patients build some pretty strong relationships while they're here. Absolutely. Well, yeah. it's a beautiful new center. We're um, very proud. Oh, yes. Uh, we'll show you even more coming up at 6.30, reporting live in Charlevoix, Alyssa Heron, 7 and 4 News. Thanks so much, Alyssa. Plus, tonight at 5.30 is the official ribbon-cutting ceremony for the Charlevoix Area Hospital Chemotherapy Infusion Center. We'll give you a sneak peek inside coming up at 6.30. 7 and 4's Alyssa Heron joins us live from Charlevoix Area Hospital to show us around the new facility. Good morning to you, Alyssa. Good morning, Brennan and Melissa. I am back inside of the Charlevoix Area Hospital inside of their new chemotherapy infusion center, back with Lynn Jenks, CEO. Thanks for joining us again. Thank you so much. And right now we're standing inside of one of the private patient rooms, correct? Yes. Yes, we like to have a private room for the patient who is particularly sick or if a doctor has to do an examination. So we have one private room and then five more open stations because we learned in our patient focus groups that they like the communication patient to patient as they're getting their treatments. Absolutely. So let's take a walk out there sure. and I want you to kind of show me around. Um, you know, first of all, how did this process get started and what, what was the need for it here in Charlotte? Well, the need was significant. What we discovered is that many of our patients are having to drive great distances, 20, 30, 40, sometimes even 50 miles to get this level of treatment. And we discovered that by providing it here, it just takes some of the burden off of the chemotherapy treatment. They don't have to travel to Traverse City to get the treatment that they could get very well here. Same level of quality care here as they would get in Traverse City or any other center. Absolutely. So we're kind of showing some of the chairs and everything right now. Tell me about 
what, what types of things that you gave to the patients to make them feel comfortable? Well, first of all, we're very proud that most of what you see here, including the chairs and our comfort care packages, were donated by uh, philanthropists in our community and by our Circle of Strength, which is a support group for our cancer program. So that each patient will receive a blanket, some slippers, an eye mask. They each have a private television and an iPad for their use. So that we try to make the experience, even though it's not a very wonderful experience, as comfortable as possible for each and every patient that comes. Absolutely. Um, and most importantly, there's a ribbon cutting ceremony tonight at 530. Tell me what will be taking place. We're very proud that we're going to launch, uh, officially launch the service tonight. We're going to have um, an open house with champagne and all kinds of goodies for people to come, and then we'll do an official ribbon cutting ceremony. This center is named for Sarah M. Foster, who was a general surgeon here who herself had breast cancer. So her family will be here to help us dedicate this center. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this thank morning. You. All of this information and more will be on our website at upnorthlive.com. Reporting live in Charlevoix, Alyssa Heron, 7 and 4 News. Thanks so much, Alyssa.